Okay, welcome to Accelerated Math Objective. Determine the area of a sector of a circle. First thing I want to do is define a couple of terms. Uh, of course, finding the area of a circle, I guess it's not definition of a term, but a uh, formula. What's the formula for the area of a circle? Some people are going to say 2 pi r or pi d, but that's the circumference, the distance around the area of a circle is uh, measured in squares, and it's pi r squared pi r squared being the area formula for a circle. And uh, if you want to talk about a sector, a sector is a fancy or a mathematical word for saying uh, pizza slice. Okay, So a sector in a circle is a slice of that circle. And as you can see here, we've got a slice. So if you find, wanted to find out the slice of a circle, it's a portion of pi r squared. So if you look at this, this is, um, I don't know, that pizza slice maybe looks like about a sixth of that whole circle, maybe one six. So that would be one six times pi r squared. Well, that's kind of hard to estimate that whole one six unless you had something really easy, like maybe the shaded sector was half of it. And you know, the degrees in a in a half of a circle is 180, and 180 out of 360. Well, that reduces to one half. So that would be one half times pi r squared. So it's easy to do it when it's uh, when it's a clear uh, half of it, a fourth of it, or something like that, but you're not going to know that. What you are going to know, according to these things, is the degrees. So let's take a look at this next one, and it tells us 196 degrees. So here's the formula. We're going to go the arc in degrees over 360, that's just the fraction of that, uh, this, that the slice represents of the whole circle times pi r squared. So really when you think about this formula, it's not too bad. If you can remember the pi r squared for the area, and then you're just going to multiply that by the fraction that the slice represents. So in this particular case, it's 196 over 360 times pi r squared. And thank goodness we have calculators. Now, notice what they give me here. 3 centimeters, that's the radius. If they gave me a diameter, I would cut it in half before putting in this formula. So I'm going to go 196 over 360 times pi r squared 3 squared. Now I know that 3 squared is 9, but I can put this in the calculator. Let's see if um, uh, this calculator over here gives me I want a uh, calculator, so I should have had that set up beforehand. All right, 196 divided by 360. I'm going to go ahead and hit enter there. So that's 0.54 repeating times pi r squared. So that times pi. Now, in this, um, in this accelerated math, they say use 3.14 for pi. So times 3.14 times 9, because 9 was the radius squared. And there's my answer. So it's uh, 15 point, and it said round to the nearest tenth of a square centimeter. So I'm going to go, that was 3, 8. So I'm going to go 4 centimeters squared. And uh, let's see, 15.4. Yep, there it is. All right. Not too bad. Let's take another look um, at a different one. I want to do this one because this one's a little different. It gives me the circumference, ooh, the circumference in pi. So I've got to deal with that. Hmm. All right. Ooh, I would have rather them just given me the radius. Uh, that's what I need because the formula is arc in degrees over 360 times pi r square. Well, there's no circumference in this formula, so how am I going to get the radius? Well, you know what? I'm going to use the circumference formula I mentioned a minute ago that was um, either 2 pi r or pi d. Now, I'm going to use the um, 2 pi r one because I'm looking for the radius here, so I'm going to find this radius by using the circumference formula. They told me that the circumference was 12 pi, and I'm going to put that equal to the circumference formula, which is 2 pi r. And now I'm going to solve it for r. I'm going to shrink my pen down a little bit here. Okay, so I'm going to solve it for r. I need to get this 2 pi off of here, so I'm just going to divide this side by 2 pi. 2 pi looks a little strange, but 2 pi divided by 2 pi is 1, so those effectively cancel each other out or make 1. 
So we're left with r, the radius, is equal to, well, 12 pi divided by 2 pi. Mm. Okay, believe it or not, the pi's cancel each other out or make 1, and then we're just 12 divided by 2. We all know 12 divided by 2 is 6. So the radius is 6. That's not the answer, but that gets us what we need to plug into our formula. So now let's go with this formula up here now that we know the radius is 6. So we're going to go 291. Where did I get that? Well, that was the arc in degrees of this shaded sector. Okay, so 291 divided by 360 times pi r squared, and in this case r is 6, and 6 squared is not 12, but 6 squared is 6 times 6, which is 36. So 291 over 360 times pi times 36, and I can put that in the calculator just like that. Um, let me clear this one. I've got 291 divided by 360. I'm going to hit equals there just to get that. I'm going to multiply that times pi, but I'm going to put in 3.14 because they told me to use 3.14 for pi times 36, which was the radius squared. I've got the area of that shaded sector is 91.37. I'm going to round it to the nearest fourth. That's centimeters squared. There it is. Not too bad. I uh, just got to work that circumference formula to get the radius. And then uh, those are the two examples that you'll see on this accelerated math. Have fun.